which is entirely... You know? So that means that we're showing people how they can use the technologies they already know to make websites. HTML, CSS, and JavaScript can be used to make apps as well. And so you don't need to learn something entirely different uh, that you to make an app for Firefox OS. Manila was one of the 24 worldwide locations that hosted the event. Local developers were given the chance to explore the open source capable operating system. Many developers had the opportunity to showcase their own mobile applications. Those three applications were created for the faculty, students of Gordon College. And the, those three applications were Ruben's Adventure done by students, also Michael's Plus done by students, and Cody Typing Test done by the faculty. We have already created a lot of applications. We just ported those, some of them to Firefox from a web app. We ported them to the new operating system. The event is very exciting. Kevin. Uh, there are a lot of developers. Uh, there are a lot of top skillful developers who are present during the event. And uh, it was a good chance for me to collaborate and to talk with other developers and help each other developing for the Firefox OS. Mozilla also announced the release of Unagi, a smartphone made for the developers to use as a testing ground for their applications. The prototype device we have today is called Unagi, and that's just the code name. So it's a developer phone. It's not going to be the final version of the hardware that you're going to see when the Firefox OS phone comes out later this year. The Unagi device is just for Mozilla developers right now. It will not be released as a consumer product. Something better will come out. It looks like 2013 will be an exciting year for developers and smart oh, Siron. <laughs> si Ron, the giant the Firefox OS is providing a gateway for more mobile possibilities. Yeah. 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 Yeah.